Welcome to another edition of the Mark Ballas Show. I have two special guests right here. I have LP Marcy and DJ Rob Little, aka Hustle Hard Radio. What's up, fellas? Big Lamb Proof, oh, man, LP man. Marcy, man. Shout out Mark Ballas Show. Throw them foes up. Big folks, you know what it is. But anyway, um, uh, Marcy. What's up, man? Man, what's good with you, bruh? Working hard, working hard, man. I know what's going on. You just got off tour, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Could you tell the world about what's what's been going on with you, bro? Mm. Since y'all last seen me, when was it like a couple months ago? Man, it's been last one. The last time I saw you was at the day in the park. No, I'm talking about last time we was here. Ooh, that was like year? That was not even a Six year. months. I said about four, five, six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> so that's progress from the last time till now. I done been on tour, I done done a host of shows, but my main highlight is a tour that I finished with Davies, called the No Place Like Home Tour. It's your boy LP Marcy, man. Live and direct with Uncle Mark and the Mark Ballard <laughs> Show. Yeah, though, no, just fresh out this tour, man, with Davies, the No Place Like Home Tour, man. Cuz invited me to open up for him in Baltimore. I opened up, showed him what it was, and I finished the tour with him. That's a good look, man. Invite. Man, shout out to Dave East. Maybe hey, one day I can interview you on the Mark Ballot Show. That'd be a dope interview for me. Like so, cuz. Yep. DJ Rob, what's going on with you, King? What's going on, What's going on? What's going on? Can you tell the world what you do? DJ Rob Little, part of Hustle Hard Radio. Mm-hmm. Um, I do what I do. He be mm-hmm. rocking the party. He be cold rocking the party, as they say back in the day. Cold rocking the party. It's <laughs> me, um, another DJ, DJ Cannon. Mm-hmm. And I got my co-host, Kool-Aid the Gift. And my um, co-co-host Bugsy. Oh, Bugsy. And we do it. Was that the one I was dancing at the? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, had me bugging. Yeah. <laughs> we do what we do. Oh, uh, what's Cheapest your DJ around? What's Remember that? What? We say that again. Cheapest DJ around. <laughs> That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy, bro. Yeah. So, we still gonna rock. We it's just still don't. Rocking. We just don't DJ. We entertain. Right. We right. perform. Mm-hmm. Guys, really shed some light. I like oh, that. I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, when is your next coming up party coming up? Real um, soon? We got an event coming up, I'm going to say next weekend. Well, we, we really book every almost every weekend, Friday and Saturday, sometimes Sundays. Mm-hmm. But I got one. I just did one at UMBS last weekend. Mm-hmm. I got one coming up this weekend. It's a private party. We rock a book. Every weekend we booked up, booked in and booked out. We outside. We outside. Definitely <laughs> outside. Hey, mm-hmm. let me tell you, these guys get together and have a good time. That's my brother. You know what that's I'm saying? That's an unk right mm-hmm. there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Girl, that's an whatever you want to mm-hmm. call it. <laughs> so, Marcy, when is, your, when is your next uh, upcoming event or project that you got coming out? Well, my schedule with my events is like, excuse me, my schedule with my events is kind of crazy because Unfortunately, the Eastern Shore want to blackball me. Shout out to all y'all club promoters around here, Salisbury, Delaware. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, these guys be trying to blackball me. You know, with the politics that I don't be having nothing to do with or know nothing about. So, you know, I got to take my talents elsewhere out of state and get recognition and, you know what I mean, make something of my career since I can't do it at home. So, I really don't have no dates for you here. Mm-hmm. But out of state? Yeah. Oh, I have a few of them. Well, go ahead and let the world know anyway. You know, we're going to Jersey. We're going to Vegas. And I'm going international with Davies. I don't even think I need a show in my city no more. What y'all think, viewers? Mm-hmm. Give, wanna, a, give, give, give me a, a give, give us a, uh, some answers on it, you know. <laughs> let us know which, how you feel about that. Do you think Mars should be here still in the community, still trying to contribute and try to do some positive things in the community? Should I or should I? Same way y'all blackballing me with the music scene, should I blackball my community? I mean, come on, man. We all supposed to be in this together. I mean, come on, like we should be having no blackballing in our town, in our state, in man, our community. It's sad. You'd we be should surprised. be doing that. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised how many politics it be to the rappers that's really like coming up self-proclaimed mm-hmm. compared to the ones that got their in crowd and people, you know what I mean, behind them and all that. I ain't had none of that. I'm really living proof. Like, you feel me? So when I go out of state, I'm not no tourist. Right. I'm not just no rapper. Mm-hmm. I'm outside. Mm-hmm. It's the difference between me and any rapper from around here. I'm not no local artist. I don't even see myself as local. Because mm-hmm. I, when I go out of places, I got a face. I got a whole another area that I got. I call second home. And my face card is crazy there. New York, that's my second home. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, 
to separate myself from here and combine the two. Mm -hmm. I just keep my foot in here with other artists that's still trying to come up and I try to develop them behind the scenes. Right. To which also mm -hmm. a couple artists that's being seen right now, which they won't acknowledge the fact that they came to me first. But you know, a few of them that's trending right now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Definitely came to me at one point, but you know what I mean? Man, shout out to the ones trending around I here. let everybody do them. I don't take nobody credit for nothing. <laughs> feel me? I don't take nobody credit. I don't want nobody credit. I let understand. everybody work speak for itself. Most standing. Most me? understand. It's like, we got to overstand this whole blackballing and try to put somebody up under the bus. And we can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. I mean, any other state can do what they do and do what they, they does what they do. But... When it comes to the Eastern Shore, Maryland, all like around here, where is it at? And they be weird, and then they try to, and then they try to uh, compare. Like, for instance, it's me and another artist, my young boy. That's my that's my man. Love Shorty to death, like a brother. Mm. Joe Lit, mm. you feel me? And then you'll hear conversations. Like, oh, oh, uh, he doing this or you doing that or why y'all ain't doing this or why this why that. They be like. Like the area would try to create some type of politics mm -hmm. around why we ain't doing songs or why this ain't happening or why this ain't happening the whole time. Man, bro, talk almost every day plotting on how we trying to really like bro, bring everything lies. together and just explode. Boom. Like we really cooking up some crazy stuff like behind the scenes for real, man. And when we bang. It's going to go crazy because bro working, he building his stuff up over there with his team. And I'm working and I'm building my stuff over here with my team. But because, you know, I've been having my freedom a little longer, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to connect other dots outside the state for everybody. Mm -hmm. Only those that's really, like, really working. Serious. Yeah, because I'm not. My platform, another thing, you artists, don't, don't waste your time hitting me up if you all not serious. That's like, one thing I can say about this young man. This, this young man is really doing it. It's a difference between... Uh, artists saying that they doing this and doing that and they don't show no accolade, accolades mm -hmm. of what they doing. This brother speaks for itself. He's living proof of what mm -hmm. he's supposed to be doing out here as far as an artist and an entertainer. He sent me his music faithfully. Man. So Good. if anybody want to send an mp3, send your mp3 to this brother right here. Robbranch1217 at gmail.com Yes, sir. And he gonna play you. Yeah. Big love. He's, he's, he's not even gonna. He's not even gonna play. He's not even gonna. He's, he's gonna play your music. He's not gonna just put your stuff on the shelf where he can collect dust. You send it, I spend it. Is my motto. This is crazy. How this? How this? Uh, whole entertainment thing is around here. This is crazy. But keep doing what you're doing, and you keep doing what you're doing, and you keep moving ready. straight forward, and just showing these people that. There's other ways you can make it besides staying around this black ball stuff. There's definitely sir. other ways to make it. And watch your circle and watch the female you laying in that bed with. Because they could be a part of that black ball too. As soon as something don't go their way, they're going to be on the other side. Yes, sir. So Ooh. watch that. Pay so attention watch the ones, to all that, man. Ones to you. Watch them watch. signs. Don't be in denial. Because that was my problem. You feel me? I'm being honest. I'm living proof of that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be in denial about what's really going on. Because you're going to block your own blessings while another person taking advantage of you yes, receiving blessings while you blocking your own. And don't, don't, be take, one don't take L's as losses. Take them as lessons. Keep, keep spreading that knowledge to them. That's let it. the world don't know what's up. Hey, man. Never let your adversities <laughs> become a reality even. Yeah, that, one. Proof, that one right there. That's, that's two. Both of them are sharp as nails right here. Oh, you know what I mean? So, that yeah. Hustle Heart Radio, man. Um, Is there any way? Like, you just told them... Where to send their MP MP3 music, right? Um, do you do sound production? Um, do you make people's music? Do you do editing, recording, editing with music? I do it all. all. I do it so all. So you on the board too? I do it all. I mostly deal with the DJing because I um, it's where's it at right now. Mm -hmm. But everything else, situation else, I can do that too. Mm -hmm. You just had called me ahead of time, let me know. I can put things together. You know, bop bop bop. You know. Yeah. If you need any features, you call me, and I'm gonna call him. Man, mm -hmm. features, mm -hmm. and I ain't taxing. Hey, yo, and I ain't just no regular rapper, no regular artist that's trying to like take y'all money away from y'all. Cause you got dudes around here that be trying to overcharge people, and they ain't yeah. even nothing. They ain't nothing. nowhere yet. Nowhere. I ain't never bought a stream. Mm -hmm. I ain't never paid for a like. I ain't mm -hmm. never paid for a follow. I ain't never paid for a stream. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never paid for a fan. But guess what? 
I done ran a lot of these artists and the listers through because I got real agents with real labels. Shout out Uncle Al Nice from CMG, man. Shout out my man Eli T, yo, baby C. Sup, baby. You know what I'm saying? I got real agents out here that really be running the stuff through. That's why a lot of people been fading off because a lot of them numbers was fake. Mm. From last year till now, a lot of people's numbers be fake. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people buy stuff too. So, another thing, artists, don't get caught up in these illusions or be misguided or persuaded by the wrong artists. They, be buying, they be buying views. <laughs> yeah, they do all that. Yeah, they, they do all really that. They do all that. They do all that. They do all that. They do all that. That's crazy. They do all that. That's crazy. When really. That same money you can take to buy a view, you can put that in your music and promotion and get real views, real likes, real followers, real, you feel me? Get an agent. You don't need to be signed. All you need is a budget. Start with a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars to get you somewhere. Did you serious? Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. You can reach me at 410-422-5678. DJ Rob Little, hit me up anytime, any day. Cheapest around. You know, we go about an hour. Right now, we at 75. That's if I, you know what I mean? So That's dope. That's dope. Follow me on Instagram at LP underscore Marcy, M A R C Y, at Living Proof of Proud if you want to tap in with the merch. But the link tree is in my Instagram bio. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on all platforms, LP Marcy. DMV, we have Big Foes, Big Land Proof. Davey Snowis, remember FTD, we outside. Outside. International tour coming soon. No features, the mixtape coming soon. Hosted by my man DJ Rel. Shout out New Orleans, man. Hosted by Radio in the building. Living Shout out Uncle Mark, too, Mark man. We outside. You know, we, time we, we outside. We definitely outside. We man. outside. <laughs> <laughs> we outside. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody want to be a special guest on the Mark Bow Show, just hit me. You already know what it is. Tap in. So, um, DJ Rob, how did you get started DJing? What influenced you? Well, my father was a DJ years ago, and I used to always play with his uh, turntables and his equipment. Mm -hmm. Till I um, I moved down here from Philly, I moved to Pocomo, Maryland, mm -hmm. and I just got up with a couple younger guys, and we just started um, rapping. Well, they started rapping. I would engineer them with the equipment and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then after I moved to Salisbury, I started, you know, what I mean, watching DJ Tavon a lot. Mm -hmm. And I just shout out to DJ Tavon. Shout out to DJ Tavon, DJ Radar, and um, everybody else. If I forgot you, sorry. But I'm just so um, I got my own equipment one day. Well, my wife ordered it for me. You know, surprised me with the equipment. I just started playing on, it and I realized that's what I wanted to do. That's a good look DJ. Through. But then I come to realize after DJ, and I want to do more than just DJ. I think I want to run a club. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm just trying to put my foot in the door. Then once I get in there, it's all access. You're definitely doing a good job. I like the way you play your music and all that. That's dope. I appreciate it. Yeah, so, lady. Marcy. I'm be Liddy. Right. Marcy, tour life. Could you tell us about the tour life, brother? What is that like, bro? <laughs> mm. I'm still going through the effects from tour life right now, man. I'm tired. It's tiring. Mm -hmm. It's fun, but it's tiring. Because mm -hmm. the drives, the riding, the constant just sitting for hours and hours till you get there. And then it's like, boom, you get there. And it's up. Mm -hmm. So it started off like last year. I've been in, I've been in tune with Davies for like a year and some change now. You know what I mean? Through mm -hmm. mutual parties in the streets. But, you know, certain things transpired where certain things needed to be disconnected from my life. Stuff like that to where I needed a new direction because I was ready to crash out and stuff. Mm. So, um. Don't want that. Mm mm. His man sat. What's up, Cass? That's big, bro. Sat, family, he took me under his wing. You know what I'm saying? And we really started having like real life personal conversations and stuff like that. And then from now, I met Uncle Drew. So, like, you know, them, them, uh, Hard to hard conversation, then the moments when I was always coming around them, mm -hmm. feel me, it kept me on their mind. Mm -hmm. So when they was passing through, hey, right, go to Baltimore, they called me. Mm -hmm. On a Friday, like, yo, what you doing tonight? And they just went from there. So when I opened up for them, well, that's, a, that's a good look for your older peers to look out for you like that. Yeah, for, uh, I opened up for them in Baltimore. Um, Damn, this is my agent calling right now. This is Day Day, PSMG. Shout out my BMF crew, all that. You know, there's Rich Pro. Oh, T, what's up, yo? Uh, um, yeah, man. 
just going on a tour with cuz like I done met so many people, yo, connected the dots in so many ways that I never expected. So now it's like, for the artistry around here, I'm like basically the front runner. So I'm really trying to make these colleges see us and all that stuff now. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. y'all not, the college is not supposed to be looking over the whole local scene to try to find somebody to open up for mainstream artists. You go to any other state. I even just did a homecoming in another state. You feel me? Beside a local artist from another state. Right. So I know what goes on. That's why I be saying I know how these promoters try to blackball me. I know this. I'm not just no regular artist. I'm really in tune with people that have been around longer than them. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or anybody in general. I, I can feel it. Right. The politics, the, all that. It's not even that. It's because I'm with the blue team and I don't be riding like everybody else i don't need to be part of the end circle i don't need to be doing all that with the politics trying to be buddy buddy with this person and that person just to try to get that Nah, i'm not with that i stay true to my principles and all my swivel they don't like me they don't like me but they're gonna respect my mind as a man because that's what i am you feel me and that's just what it is i don't i move with professionalism and all that and like even going on tour like i conduct myself in so much of a manner because want to take me internationally no other artist around here can say that they even been on a tour with a mainstream artist ever, let alone invited to go international. I'm the first person to do that. Billboards and all. I've been the first person to do I've been the first person on this Eastern Shore to get a billboard in Times Square, billboard in Chicago, to go on tour. Like, I've been the first artist to crack open hella doors for the show that they never seen. Yeah, nice. let me tell you. This guy's open up doors and y'all don't even know it. Mm -hmm. All by myself. No in crowd, no nut riding, no politicking, no none of that. Just doing me. Even with all the politics and that cat around my name and all that and all that. Look who's still on top mm -hmm. almost two years later. Why y'all still talking, trying to figure out what's what? Land proof, man. Never let your adversities become reality, man. We outside. No place like home tour. We going international, we going up, follow me, all that. I done gave y'all my stuff. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Those who been in tune, I appreciate y'all. Those who try to get rich, you know what's up. But yeah, man, we winning over there, man. Shout out my gang. Shout out my little brother was. Like your soul, baby. Boy, I'm proud of you. What you doing over there, man? Shout out my brother Melon too, yo. Free the game. Shout out Hustle Hall Radio, DJ Cannon. My wife, Drea. My mother, father, my sister, brother, my kids, and my kids' mothers. Yeah. Thank y'all for the support. And I like to give a shout out to everybody who's tuning in and all that. We already know how we do. Peace and blessings. Man, special shout out to the kids and my family too. I had to do my music shout outs first because you know it's been a lot of day ones that have been guiding me through this. But my strength and my motivation come from my babies. So I thank them and shout them most of all for this. My, my babies, my daughter, and my son. Y'all daddy also shout out, going places. Also shout out DJ Tony Vibes and DJ Omizi who started out with me, who decided to go their own path. God bless y'all. Pray for y'all. You ever know what it is. We outside. Definitely outside. Man, yo, we out, man. Peace.